All right, we're here with first place Cody. Oh, yeah. What yeah. play today? Yeah. I'll play Necroz. Necroz. <laughs> yeah. Just so, get right uh, into the spicy profile. Yeah. All right. So, first of all, uh, you play three Brio. Thank God he's back at three now. Uh, it's probably the best card in the deck. Uh, you can discard him to search any Necroz monster. And when he's on field, you can use his effect to shuffle back up to two extra deck monsters, <laughs> which came up a lot. Crazy. Yeah. Uh, two Clausless. Uh, discard him, search a ritual spell. Uh, his field yeah. effect is pretty good too. You can uh, negate a monster summon from the extra deck and make an attack zero. But uh, that never really came up much. But uh, it's there just in case you need it. Uh, three Valk. Uh, he's the Swift Scarecrow of the deck. Discard him. Banish a Necros monster in your grave, negate the attack and the battle phase. And um, his field effect is you can tribute monsters from your uh, from your field or hand and draw up to two, which uh, helps a lot for kind of digging through your deck, fixing your hands. Uh, two Trish, uh, you don't need to play three. Um, Trish, you know, Trish is Trish. You always want to summon Trish. Uh, Unicorn, MVP, obviously. Uh, he's so good in this meta. Uh, negates everything, especially someone from the extra deck. Uh, he kind of just protect the unicorn is the way you play this deck. Um, one Gungnir, another way to protect unicorn. Uh, you can discard them, so uh, you can target a Necroz monster. They can't be destroyed by battle or card effect, so he's pretty good. And the last virtual monster is Chalice Slime. Uh, the incantations are super good in this deck, and uh, Chalice Slime is another way to, you can search it off Herald, it's another way to kind of get some incantations going, get some searches. Uh, now for the monsters, we play two of all the incantations. Um, you need to play all of them. Um, Bet between mixing their levels and what they can all search. Searches monsters from deck, spells from deck, and then these add uh, monsters and spells from grave back to hand. Really, really good. Um, three Manju, obviously. Don't want someone to search anything. Pretty, pretty standard. Uh, one Shurit. Uh, thank God he's back. He's uh, the MVP. He counts as a full tribute for any water monster or any Necroz ritual water monster. And uh, when he's tributed, you can search a warrior Necroz monster or a Necroz ritual. And one dance princess. This card is so good. Um, so when it's tributed, you can add a banished Necroz monster from uh, back to your hand. And when, he sum when she's summoned, uh, it makes your ritual monsters untargetable. So it protects them from like impermanence and uh, all that kind of stuff. She's really good. And three Zaborg. If you resolve this, you're probably going to win. Uh, you can tribute your incantations, send eight cards from your extra deck to the graveyard, send eight of your opponents uh, from your extra deck to the graveyard. Pretty good. Search. Yeah, searches everything. Send all your heralds, entis, the pop stuff. Search. Uh, spells. You play two of each of the ritual spell. Um, I used to play 3 2 1, but I like Cycle Back at 2 now. Um, so, send from Extra Deck to Ritual Summon, Banish from Grave to Ritual Summon, and you can Ritual Summon from Grave with Cycle. Uh, pretty good. Then, 3 Preparation Rites, searches almost everything in your deck, adds back your Ritual Spells. And the card you need for this deck is three Potter Extravagance. Um, it really helps your draw power get going. Uh, you don't ever need your extra deck besides sending the Herald off Kaleidoscope. Um, but that's about it. Uh, that's it for the main deck. 41. Uh, extra deck. You play three Herald of the Arclight, send off Zaborg, send off Kaleidoscope, get infinite searches, uh, three Entis. More you send off the Borg. When it's sent, you can pop cards. Uh, three Toad. When it's sent to the grave, uh, you get to add water monsters back to your hand. So you can put them self back. Or you can add uh, Necroz ritual monsters from your grave back to your hand. Uh, one Omega. You can use Omega to like, shuffle back an Arc Light after you resolve the Borg. And Kaleidoscope. Send Herald again. Get another search. Uh, then I play two Kaleidoscope targets, uh, Brio and Inferno Tierra. So Brio is for Brio level 6, Tierra is for uh, Valk and Clausalus, so 11. Um, one Exiton Knight, it came up once where I had to use this, but it was a complete blowout. 
and super poly targets, I play Starving Venom and Violent Chimera. I super polyed a Salmon Great Board today, and it felt good. Is it true? Yeah. And side deck. Uh, I don't main deck any hand traps, so I kind of side all the hand traps. So, two Ash, uh, three Phantasme, uh, three Evenly Matched, three Impermanence, three Denko, and Super Poly. Uh, Denko, I, was, I want to main deck Denko, but I don't know. I kind of like keep him in the side. Um, Super Poly is absolutely broken if you draw it. Phantasme fixes your hands. Evenly matched. This card won me like three games today. I evenly matched a Pendulum board, and I evenly matched two Sky Striker boards. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, there's nothing I would really change. Uh, I think it's pretty good the way it is. Performed really well today, obviously. Oh yeah, I went 4-0-1. So, my only draw was against Sky Strikers. Um, I won against Salomon Grades, Pendulum Thunder Dragon, Skull Servant, Burning Abyss, and... Salomon Grades, did I say that? I, I think that's it. Pendulum Magician. Yeah, so yeah, that's it. Alright, thanks. No worries.